uh, this is a brief outline. I'll just go on. Uh, CDEEP stands for uh, uh, Center for Distance Engineering Education Program. It is formed to disseminate IIT Bombay's courses live and recorded. Not only live, not only recorded, but also live to students and faculty of colleges and also to working professionals. And we, we have been transmitting live IIT Bombay's courses for close to one decade. Okay. Live transmission strategies, we uh, until uh, December 2007, we were doing it on a commercial basis. We used to purchase the bandwidth, transmit our courses and then from the recipients collect money. In January 2008, we switched over to ISRO. We uh, joined um, uh, the EDUSAT uh, launched by ISRO. Uh, ISRO is giving bandwidth free. In return, we are transmitting our courses for free. So, in other words, all of you can receive all our courses absolutely free of cost, including two-way communication. We have one channel. We start our transmission at 8.30 in the morning. We go till typically about 8 in the evening. Okay. So, these are generally packed, about 13 to 14 courses we are transmitting. What is a course in our terminology? Semester long subject. 40 hours, right. So, uh, we uh, also started um, transmitting through webcast. Okay. This is, these are the details about EDUSAT. So, here I have written 65 remote centers. We are actually close to touching about 90, including the uh, remote centers that are in the pipeline. Orders have come. Now, some of these components are to be imported and so not available. So, ISRO is taking a little bit of time. Bharat Electronics is implementing. It is taking, uh, it is going to be done over a period of time, but we have a large number of centers. We also transmit through webcast, as I mentioned in the last class, last uh, talk. We are transmitting at 100 kbps because it is accessible to our students also. If you transmit at high bandwidth, only western students in the western countries will have access to, but we want to make this available to our students also. These are our courses. Our students go and listen. For example, the digital control course that I am teaching now, College of Engineering Pune is getting live. They also take the quiz. I send them the quiz half an hour ahead of time. They take a printout, do the quiz and they join. They can also post questions. In Moodle, they can all. There is no difference at all whether a question is posed by a student at IIT or by a student at College of Engineering Pune. In fact, even for answers, there could be a bright student in College of Engineering Pune. He could be answering all of IIT students' questions. So, there is, there is no distinction at all between students within the campus and outside. They are all the same. Okay. So, it is our course delivered on fixed schedule. It is also free. Now, of course, uh, I mentioned value added co uh, uh, courses. Previously, of course, uh, we, were, we had to pay the satellite money and so on. So, we are collecting some money, we had to pay. And even with EDUSAT, uh, EDUSAT only gave the bandwidth free. It did not give the money for my support staff, my people who are doing the editing, cameraman, okay, people who maintain the website. So, now through the mission, we have got funds to maintain all of that. As a result, we, are, we do not have to take the money from the colleges. Okay. Now, everything is absolutely free of cost. So, as I mentioned here, slides, assignments, colleges can synchronize their exams and the discussion forum okay. and in fact, the whole nation can become one large classroom. Okay. And unlike, uh, unlike if you look at this Moodle, let me go back to this Moodle again. Unlike the regular class where people ask questions, um, and there is a difficulty answering. If you have a lot of questions, there is a possible, there is a difficulty of answering all of them. But through Moodle, there can be a lot of questions and answers that can go side by side. Right? As a matter of fact, if there are more questions on a single topic, then you get to analyze that single topic from various angles. 
So, in fact, your learning can actually be better if there are more students, right. That is why I said the whole nation can become a large classroom, okay. This was one of the fears expressed by some people. If I do this, then college management will say we do not need the teacher, IIT is transmitting, we will receive it. Uh, in fact, such a thing was done in the first time when uh, College of Engineering Pune received, they received 9 courses. They thought that um, that could be given as additional load to the faculty members, okay. But the faculty members found that this uh, going through an IIT course actually was lot more work. Just being associated, what does the, what does the course TA or I, we call it course associate at the remote center. So, every value added course shall have a CA at every RC. So, value added course in my, in my terminology is that there is a course that has very good overlap, 70, 80 percent overlap that you want to use IIT's course as a substitute for your course that you do not have to teach. If there is only 20 percent overlap, there is no point in using it. You can tell your students on this day, this person is going to teach this, go and listen to it, that is it. But when there is a very good overlap, 70 to 80 percent overlap and there is a shortage of faculty members, somebody who has just joined after a B.Tech, B.E., he has to teach the course, he has to prepare all the material, you are actually feeling guilty about it. Then you can tell him, hey, IIT Bombay is transmitting it, join that as a course associate, get the entire course. Next year you teach this using this material. By the way, we have no problem, you can use all of my slides and teach your own course next semester, right. So, this is a way for us to bootstrap this uh, teachers, large number of teachers, okay. So, you can, you have to uh, be there on time, you have to be present for all the classes. If some background material is missing, that person has to teach. For example, I am teaching a course on control, I may say, I may say that IIT students already know Laplace transforms, so I will not teach. But in a, in a college, in a remote center, they may not have taught. So, that course associate has to spend one extra hour to teach the plus transforms. So, in this way, the course associate has a lot of work, organize exams, grade them, okay, answering questions, be an interface. So, they actually found that this was a lot more work because in a university system, the syllabus is prescribed. Whether you teach or not, exam is going to happen, students have to write, okay. So, this actually involved a lot of work, involves a lot of work and uh, I do not I don't think there will be any problem. Uh, I, we, I strongly believe that it only strengthens the teaching system in colleges, okay. And also it is not done every year. We do not want that faculty member to join again next year. Let him teach by himself or herself. Let somebody else come for another course. So, we have lots of uh, value added courses for uh, professionals. Um, it is possible to give uh, certifying uh, programs. Of course, um, it is very difficult for IIT Bombay to reach out to grade lots of papers. So, if you look at in the previous one, we have something called graded courses grading by remote centers. So, for example, we have you know PSG College of Technology, so very reputed college. And what if the faculty members in that place, they say based on IIT courses delivery, we will do the certification, we will conduct an exam. Or IIT is anyway giving the exam paper, by the way I give the exam paper, I also give the model answer. So, they can conduct the exam for the people who come, there could be you know professionals who are coming from neighboring places, they come and participate and uh, write the exam, PSG college can grade and give a certificate that this person appeared in the course conducted by IIT Bombay. We have graded them and given them a grade. So, will it not have value in industry? So, it is possible to set it up in every place. It is possible to do it in NIT Suratkal, NIT Surat, okay, Sona Engineering College. You name the place, Badnera. So, it has a value because the, the people who want jobs want to be recognized, want to be differentiated 
So, if I have in fact, we have something called solo classroom. Solo classroom is just webcast okay? and, and the person listens to it. Even if I do not give any names, there is a student who comes and listens to my course at the prescribed time because it is also webcast. Okay? So, imagine the student who is in IT field okay? and then he applies for a job in embedded systems company. They ask him some questions, he is able to answer all of it. So, they were curious, how come you know all this? He says, I listened to this in all the courses, lectures from IIT Bombay. I picked up all of this. So, will you not get the job? It does not matter. Once you go to the workplace, it does not matter whether you are a genius, whether you studied in IIT, whether you studied in MIT, Caltech, it does not matter. Finally, are you going to deliver? Are you going to do the work? That is what matters. That is what we have to emphasize to our students. Right? You learn because education is a very powerful tool. So, through all this, we are trying to make this available, but certification is very difficult for IIT Bombay to do it for 1000 people. It will be good if remote centers can actually do that. We will do it, every remote center says, we will take care of 20 people. Small number you can manage, but together we can do it for 1000 people. Okay. Levels of operation, we have 4 studios, we have 40 full time staff working in our center. You can maybe as a part of this course, you can actually visit. I do said, I do not know whether there is a tour. They can just uh, drop by if you have some time. Uh, running studios, maintaining servers, PCs, other equipment. We do webcast. We, are, we do streaming. We worry about codec. We worry about stability because the, the in fact, in the, when I transmit through EduSat, which all of you can receive, we simultaneously transmit through webcast. So, that means we need to have all these things connected. It has to be recorded on tape. Okay. It has to be recorded as a hardware on in the hardware, in the hard disk. right? And we actually were trying to do, uh, just to give uh, an estimate, we, are, we have, for example, this semester we are running 30 courses. right? Uh, one year ago, we were ready with we are ready for transmitting 50 courses. So, we actually worked out some calculations, did some calculations. 50 courses means 50 into 3, 150 hours of lecturing every week. And there are 5 working days. Divide by 5, it is 30 lectures per day. And we have to record, we have to edit because we promised our students within 24 hours, we will release our course on video on demand. That means, every day we have to edit uh, 30 lectures. If it takes 2 hours to edit, actually it takes real time to grab it from the tape. You have to play the tape, grab it. So, that is 60 hours. And you have to grab it, you have to edit it, you have to render it, save it, all that. So, 60 hours, man hours are required to edit, just to do the editing, even if you assume only 2 hours. So, we tried tapeless solution that we will send it through wireless, but one hour of AVI file is uh, something like 3, 4 GB. We were choking our bandwidth. So, we I mean we have gone through lots of things that is just to give an idea of uh, uh, levels of operation. Um, we are transmitting 30 courses. So, this is the statistics of courses transmitted. Uh, we do not have the current semester. Current semester we are doing about 30, this is 27, the previous semester 35. Uh, so, this is something I already mentioned about uh, live transmission. The most difficult thing about all of this is getting feedback to convince people that this is actually useful to people. Right? People do not want to give feedback, do not want to register. Okay? So, this is one of the problems. This is the VOD hits within our campus. By the way, we are planning to make this VOD available for outside people also. We are working on establishing the bandwidth. Because even if you have only 100 kbps, right, if 100 people watch that, could be enormous. And 100 students watching, it is a very small number. We have 
6 lakh students study. So, if you look at 1 percent, so let us say half the people are interested in some electronics course or even 1 lakh students are interested in some electronics course. So, if you look at 1 percent of that, that is 1000 people. Of course, they may not be watching at the same time, but just imagine what will happen before the exam, the night before exam. So, a lot of people could see it if there is a good course. Okay. You can see that this is the month of November, lot of hits, uh, our exams take place in November and then they take place in April. Of course, here we did 35 courses, here we did 27 courses. You can see that the it picks up during exam time, even within the campus, same thing will happen outside. Um, by the way, this is the, I had, uh, you have already received a newsletter from us, right? Have you seen it? In the bag it was there apparently, right? And in that there is a, it talks about how to uh, submit proposals for the national mission. Okay. Um, we have also summarized the student perceptions, our students, what they thought about this transmission. Okay. We were worried that maybe our students will complain, right? Why are you doing this? We came through IIT, we came through JE, other students did not come through JE. Why are you sharing our course with other people? But actually, what is happening is because we made all this services available, video on demand is available if you go through CD. So, they could for example, complain to the student, faculty members, move the course out of CD, then it is not available on video on demand. We do not give the support of Moodle. Okay. We work very closely with uh, Nasir for example and uh, we follow up and, and of course, the faculty members come better prepared, give better lectures and so on. So, instead of students complaining, I mean that was a remote possibility, but even that did not happen. Students are actually demanding, that is why the number of courses is going up. So, some incentives are given and then government money is available to do that. Of course, it benefits our own education, distance education, it benefits our own education. I am able to record people before they retire. So many best faculty members have retired, I cannot bring them back. Okay. So, some lessons, some uh, difficulties, uh, immediate plans. So, we have Amruta people, we are working closely with them. You are familiar with this product A view. Okay. So, in fact, we are using this in IIT Bombay. Okay. So, this is a, uh, like a video conferencing unit except that the except that you do not need a video conferencing unit, you just need internet. Just download a player and then students can interact. That is something that we want to do. Okay. And of course, our live transmission is different from NPTEL okay. because it is a live, live class as it happens. Things cannot fail. Right? If I create, if there is too much disturbance to the faculty member when he is teaching the course, he will say your, your studio is bad. I am going to a regular classroom, right? Won't it happen? Because you have to cover some portion. Okay. So this is this. I have already talked about this, right? I have already shown this. So long-term plans to become an academic entity, to partner global efforts, help build academic institutions in India. Of course, the objective of all this is that our children have better childhood. Okay. Our children do not have childhood anymore. Okay. This is uh, some information. I will give a copy of this. 